Hey everyone, I am Jason and today we are going to talk about functions. So functions are essentially um, a block of code that performs a specific task that can be reused, right? Um, so you can actually pass information in functions if you want to, it's not necessary. But if you do, you can pass data or information. Um, and these functions can actually be user defined, so they're very useful for different users um, to help you know, name the function and really be explicit with it. Um, I think it's very important. Um, I think functions are really important for reusing code. Um, so instead of having to rewrite the code over and over again, you actually just define the function once and you can use it as many times as you want. Um, and that kind of creates this reusability, right? And I think that's super powerful. Um, and the three things that you really, that you really need to remember about functions is um, Declaring the function, calling the function, and defining the function. So when you declare the function, um, that's the first step. That's when you give it a prototype or a signature, and um, you can actually put um, the specific information that you want to pass through, right? Um, and then you can actually call the function. That's essentially just saying using the function, right? Um, and then at the end, you actually define the function. And when you define the function, that's when you really lay out the the code itself and the logic that you want to be used every time that function is called. Um, and yeah, I think I think the really powerful another really powerful thing about functions is that um, they can actually have a return value. They don't have to have a return value, but they could. Um, you can have a value associated with it, which can later be manipulated, and be, and it's very useful um, and very powerful. So that's going to be um, more clear. That's, that's going to be clarified later in the analogy and when we really write up some code. Um, so yeah, the analogy that I wanted to create was um, animal style fries for In-N-Out. So In-N-Out's a local um, burger joint um, here in California, and um, I'm sure they have a recipe. Um, obviously, I'm speaking hypothetically, but I'm sure they have a recipe for how they make their fries. Um, and instead of each food joint or every restaurant redefining exactly how the animal style fries are made, uh, a single recipe or one definition of a function uh, can be used at all these restaurants, at all these food chains, right? Um, and if you don't stay with this consistent recipe, this consistent function, um, you can actually have inconsistent versions of the recipe, inconsistent versions of the function, right? Um, that are sometimes incorrectly defined or they don't, you don't need to define them again when they already exist. Right, um, so yeah, I'm gonna clarify this with the analogy and the code itself. Um, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna write up some code here that uh, really shows the power of, uh, of functions themselves. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pull up my main function here. Actually, before you enter the main function, what do you have to do? You actually have to um, declare your function. So I'm gonna declare my function um, animal style fries um, and they're gonna have or they're gonna pass a string value and I'm gonna call it size right there we are I declared my function the next thing that I want to do is I wanna let's see I want to create an integer and I'm gonna call it order total and at the very beginning of my code I'm gonna set my order total to zero but at the end it's gonna obviously be something higher than that as the order is complete so right now I created an integer or a variable called order total and I set it to zero um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to create um, order total or I want to revise order total and that order total is gonna equal order total Let's be consistent with the capitalization here. Order total um, plus the function animal style frac. So this is where I'm actually calling my function. And recall that it has to be accompanied by a string, which is the size of it. Um, so I'm going to have my first order be a small, and I'll put that in string as we declared. Um, above. 
And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to have two order, orders. And this time the order total is going to be updated because I'm going to add another order total plus the function again, animal style fries. Here, here I'm calling the function again. Then instead of this time, I'm actually going to order, um, I'm going to actually order the large. Boom. I'm um, gonna just be consistent with the spelling here. And yeah, everything's looking good as, as of so far. And then I'm gonna end by C out, printing out order total. I'm just gonna make that a capital. Order total. And I'm gonna put a dollar sign. And then I'm actually gonna add the the what's it called? the final order total and that's going to be um, the addition of all the orders combined so it's going to be the order for the small and for the large combined and this is going to be just order total since it's going to be updated at every step order total order total order total order total right but actually I'm gonna to have to turn this into a string because in order to put two strings together I mean in order to have concatenation adding two things together Right here, it's a string, so I actually need to turn this into a string. So I'm going to use an interesting function called to string, and that's going to turn my order total into a string. And then I'm going to end that uh, there. And then I'm going to return to zero just to wrap it up. Cool. So this is, looks like I'm completely done with my main part here. Let me just double check everything's looking good. Yeah, everything does seem to be looking good. Um, and then here's we actually, where we actually define the, the function itself. So this is the part you don't have to do over and over again. You can actually just call the function again. Animal style fries anytime you need it. Um, so I'm actually going to put my uh, my definition here. Animal style make sure you're com completely correct with the spelling animal style fries again it's going to take in a string um, called size and then I'll put some brackets here all right so what I want to do here is I want to see out recipe so here I'm just gonna be very clear and really um, show what this is so animal style fries this is a recipe and this is where the analogy comes in the recipe is sliced potatoes for the fries right potatoes um, some cheese those are animal style and some grilled onions and for those of you who do not know, in and out actually has something called secret sauce on these fries. Secret sauce. Cool. And then I'll just end that there. Uh, just like that. Whoops. Just like that. Great. So I'm just being very clear here. This is the analogy. The recipe is the the repeated function right here. The repeated recipe is the PPP function. Um, and yeah, here's where I lay out the logic, right? If size is equal to the string, let's call it small, then we're actually gonna have a particular price associated with it, right? So we're gonna actually say here, um, C out, uh, small size, uh, Maybe the small size can be three dollars, right? That sounds about right, hypothetically speaking. Um, three dollars, and then I'm going to end that there. The next thing that I can do is uh, actually re have a return value. So I'm actually going to return the number three, and this is where the return value is powerful because then we can have a uh, order total accumulate, right? Um, and yeah. Um, I guess the next thing that I can do is actually have um, an else if statement. 
Um, and in this situation, the size is not a small. The size is actually going to be a medium. Medium. And this is obviously going to be a different price. Probably a little more expensive, right? Maybe it could be four bucks, four dollars. So I'm going to see out um, medium size, and then we'll say that's four dollars, right? That sounds about right. Um, and then yeah, I can end that there. End it right there. And then I'm going to return actually the number four this time. There we are. And the last thing that I can do is actually create an else um, statement. Let's see. Oh, I actually forgot um, the, the bracket here. So I'm just going to be extra neat um, and put that there at the moment. Let's see. Make sure my syntax is correct here. And it seems like it is. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah. So just to be clear, I'm going to have it like that. And then I'm going to put the else statement down here. And then I'm going to see out the large, right? Large. Oops. Let's say large size. And we're going to give that. Um, let's say it's five dollars, just because it's a large. Right? Make it nice and simple. Um, you add a dollar for every size, um, and then I'm gonna end up there. And then for this one, I'm actually gonna return uh, number five, just because um, it is the bigger one. And yeah, I guess I'll just add one last bracket here. Make sure this the the else's are aligned. Um, and I should be, oh, I misspelled your turn here. Return. Return. Cool. And then, um, uh, now I have a bunch of extra brackets. Um, I should only have about two, I believe. Yeah, I should only have about two here. Let's see. I think that should be good, right? Great. Okay, let's see if this runs and how it runs. Uh, hopefully it runs correctly here. I'm gonna, let's see, run it here and uh, hope everything turns out right. It looks like everything is running correctly. So essentially, my function is animal style fries and it intakes um, a string size, a string um, so, and followed with the, the size of the string, right? Well, not the size of the string, the size of the order inside the string. So here, I'm calling it once for a small, and I'm here I'm calling it twice, oh, another time for the large. Um, and yeah, so right here provides the recipe, recipe sliced potatoes, cheese, grilled onions, and secret sauce. And then it's going to give me the small size for $3, right? And then it's going to give me the recipe again because the recipe is used over and over again. You see this function has to be used over and over again in order to get the recipe correctly every time. So here I have the recipe written out again, um, but this time I give the large size a different number, right? I give it $5. Uh, and then lastly, the order total is actually going to be the five plus the $3 combined because that's the total all-encompassing order. Um, and yeah, here we can see like this analogy really play out how um, a function is similar to a recipe. Like you call it once, and then you can use it over and over again. I didn't have to redefine um, the function again for a different order, right? You just use the same function over and over again because that same function has this logic that it can play out through and really decide exactly what order number, what order size, what order cost each function um, needs. Um, for its respective order, right? So yeah, I hope this really this analogy and this code example really helps um, show you the power of functions and the the creativity that code um, can be and the power that code that reusable code can have, right? So I've been Jason, and thanks for watching.